Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So looking at the US 30 just now, we're trading the right side of potential resistance at 18.284. Disappointing data coming out of the US last night just pretty much reaffirms there's going to be no interest rate hike in 2015. And the dollar's wobbled on the back of that with the sterling and the euro and Japanese yen staging a bit of a counter attack and pushing on that little bit higher. So consolidation probably expected around 18.284. Moving on to the UK 100, we've had a real good session today. Not quite such a long like a candle on our, our candle formation yesterday. We're looking at potential resistance at the tips of these candles with a bullish cross on the uh, MACD. The other technical indicators are ticking up nicely, but the UK 100 looking a bit more bullish today with public finance data still due later on at 9.30 UK time. Moving on to Japan 225, which is looking more attractive as stock valuations are um, increasing. Japanese yen has staged a bit of a, a reversal today, but uh, more weakness in that FX pair against US dollar will help propel Japan 225 up that little bit higher. And there is still a lack of need for stimulus, still that ace in the hole. And obviously we had the second quarter GDP figures come in much better than expected. So Japan 225 getting more popular with traders with a bullish crossover on the MACD adding a little bit of technical support. So moving on to dollar yen, dollar yen has been a bit disappointing as it's not fallen through to 121 spot 87. Um, a better reversal there as it's just slowly grinding down. Tips of these candles may provide support. Failing that, the 55 and 21 period SMA could be the next levels to go ahead and have a look at. Moving on to West Texas crude that had a shot in the arm because of the dollar weakness and uh, more war in the Middle East as um, Syria and Iraq just continue to uh, just get worse and worse. Um, Long-term potential resistance is $64. We're on the right side of 59.50 right now. With other technical indicators relatively neutral, uh, expect consolidation around about these areas for now. Moving on to gold, gold's been disappointing. Uh, it's not really benefited that much from the FOMC meeting, uh, which pretty much dashed hopes of a 2015 rate hike. And the recent dollar weakness hasn't resulted in positive momentum for gold, which it had been a few days ago, but uh, ever since Friday basically it has come off and not really recovered. Wrong side of potential resistance at 12.18 and needs to get above that to spring back into life. Moving on to the common currency right now, the euro's still a little bit struggling with um, Greece still hovering in the background. Their big yeah, debt repayment June the 5th of June is still incoming. We are sandwiched between 1 spot 11 and the 21 period SMA right now. Any drop below that opens up 1 spot 0.786. Um, but we are trying to stage a little bit of a bounce of 111, but uh, it doesn't look like it's got a huge amount of conviction in that move. And then finishing up with GBP USD, um, if you look at the length of this area to this area, from here to here, we could be seeing that we're getting a wave formation on GBP USD, trying to push up a little bit higher. Real good day yesterday. One spot 59.10 is the next potential resistance. Um, more major resistance. We've got a shorter term one, one spot 57.43 to bait through right now. Otherwise, you're looking at a move back down towards one spot 54.24. We've got a negative cross on the MACD. You've got a sell signal in the RSR and a slow stochastic, but we still pushed on high last night, which means the fundamentals for sterling are getting that little bit better and are pushing through the technical barriers. So I can update you today. You've got German uh, IFO, you've got UK public finances, American CPI data. Uh, so there's actually a fair amount today. Next week, there's very little. So Monday, there's nothing. Tuesday, there's durable goods. Wednesday, there's consumer confidence, retail sales, uh, and <clears throat> You could oil inventories, and then on Thursday you've got GDP and employment data and the housing data. Matter of fact, crude oil inventories have switched to Thursday next week uh, rather than Wednesday. Uh, I'm not quite sure where that is, but um, that does look relatively interesting. So as ever, make the chart form part of your layout. Lots of cool trading setups here from our global analyst team. Make insights part of your main layout as well. This gives you the inside track as to what's moving the markets today. And join me again on Monday to find out, oh, actually Tuesday to find out what happened next because Monday is a bank holiday. And I shall see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.